Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in once again to the Financial Oprah Show. Now today, I want to talk about something a tiny bit different. You know, I definitely want you guys to stick with me. Uh, I have read something, you know, not too long ago about how African Americans spend 1.1 trillion dollars a year. And we don't really save money, we don't really save for retirement or anything like that. In fact, Prudential did a study, I can't remember what year, I believe it was in 2015 or 2014, in which black people spend 20% more than their Caucasian counterparts. Now, I'm not really here to teach you guys anything today, but I'm just asking, can we just change our spending habits as a culture, like as a people, seriously? Like I know, like if you watch rap music and these rap videos, they have all of these fancy cars and all of these flashy, whatever, throwing money in the air, whatever, and all of this craziness, like literally craziness. Like for example, my homeboy had told me that he used to go to the strip club all the time and just be throwing thousands of dollars at these strippers or whatever. And like this one stripper he was paying particular attention to and you know, he was waiting for her, threw mad money at her, was waiting for her, bumped into her at the end because it was, I guess, happened, staying at the same hotel. I don't know the whole story, but anyway, and she didn't even like acknowledge him the next day she was he was like help like hey what up like after she had got off and she was like like who are you kind of thing but anyway like you know like I just want us to honestly change our spending habits like seriously this is just like really ridiculous because we could do so much more money I mean so much more you know with our money please start investing your money like Please start investing your money because it doesn't make sense to even have money in a bank account anymore, honestly, because these bank accounts are not paying any interest as well. Unless you're banking with Ali Bank, like I had said in one of my previous videos, and no, like I said, I'm not a sponsor of Ali Bank or anything, but I just really do enjoy their higher interest rates. But still, 1.45% interest is not even that much money. The, the NASDAQ and the, you know, the stock exchange, they average 7% or throughout the years. Now, can we just change our spending habits, please? I'm really asking nicely. Because honestly, I'm really trying to set up future generations to have the things that we never had. Like start, if you have children, start thinking about saving for college. I know all of my, I don't, to be honest, I don't know anybody personally that their parents left them a lump sum of money for college like i wish my pa you know what let me tell let me tell y'all real quick my father gave me 65 dollars when i got accepted to morgan city the first time to take the bus mind you i didn't have no luggage or anything at the time mega bus or all of these cheaper buses didn't even exist so the bus was i believe Fifty dollars or something round trip. Oh, there's an airplane passing. Give me a second. <laughs> so we had get so fifty of dollars I had spent to get on the bus to go to Baltimore, Maryland. This is when I was seventeen at the time when I had got accepted to Morgan the first time. That's another story for another day. <laughs> I didn't even have enough money to get back to New York. Because make a long story short, Morgan State University was like, oh, you need to come up with $10,000 before the semester starts. Mind you, the semester started in like three or four days. So where was I getting $10,000 from? But let's just start thinking about future generations. So let's just start thinking about saving, thinking about investing, and let's just start thinking about the future. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.